Have you ever wanted something so bad that when you finally got a grasp of it, everything seems to be going wrong? Especially now, we have a girl Nora who faked her way into college and now everything seems to be coming apart. The two mean girls, one from high school and one from university, are ganging up together to catch her in her lie and they're trying to sabotage her presentation. But then, the most crazy thing happens. The whole auditorium catches on fire and we have an option. Are we going to save the mean girl or are we going to let her burn. I think we shall see. This is chapter 13 of College-ish. And if you guys want to catch up on the previous chapters of this episode, College-ish, they're all in the description below, so make sure you guys check it out. Is that smoke? Fire! Ah! Everyone's running away. It's crazy. Oh my god. Madison just left us. Joanna is stuck alone. Why didn't she run when Madison ran? I'm stuck! Nora, please help me! Please! What do I do? Um, obviously going to rescue her from the flames. I'm not a monster. I'm coming, Joanna. Wait! I run after her into the flame. Oh. <coughs> Come with me. I grab Joanna and we run off. The whole building burned out. It was a crazy fire. How can I calm down? Our building's been burned to the ground. Oh, we made it. <coughs> You're safe now. Everything's gonna be okay. Nora, I, I, I can't breathe. <coughs> we need an EMC over here. <coughs> Whatever you do, just please be careful not to scuff my diamond bracelet. It was really expensive. Oh my god, priorities match? Wait a second, did they just put handcuffs on me? What the? We're gonna need to ask you some questions about the fire. Officer, that's my roommate. What are you doing to her? Roommate? Hold on you, you already go to school here? Um... Yeah, Shiza. Of course she does. She's been my roommate since day one. Kristen, shh. Not now. And she's been the best roommate, okay? We do everything on campus together. But that's impossible. Kristen, stop it. No, hold on, Nora. I'll take care of this. Nora is an innocent freshman. She wouldn't have even been in that building. Take those handcuffs off of her this instant. Uh, surprise, they did not take off the handcuffs. Still in them. Oh man, I'm cold in prison or jail. They're ready to ask you some questions. Oh my God. Am I gonna have to come clean? Finally, Nora, come clean. All right, let's see. Occupation? Uh, student, don't ask high school or college. High school or college. I just said don't ask. Um, how much time do you have? She's the one who's in both, you idiot. Oh, I was looking at the wrong file, my bad. Wait, what's your name again? Nora Tash. Oh my God, it's my mother. Mom? Oh my God, oh my God, Mom. This whole semester, I thought you had a boyfriend. Maybe being a little rebellious, pretending to be a college student. I can explain, Mom. I have an explanation. Kind of. You can tell it to me when you're 30 and I let you out of the house again. I'm Mrs. Tash. I'm here to bail my daughter out and send her straight to her room. Yes. Yes, ma'am. You are grounded. G-R-O-U-N-D-E-D. -E grounded. Mom, please. Mom, I know I messed up, but there's something I really, really need to do before we go home, please. What in God's name is that? Run for president? There's someone I really care about who needs to know the truth. Please, mom. And he deserves to hear from me in person, from my mouth. Please, mom. Nora, I am angry, but I'm proud of you for wanting to talk to him face to face. You're growing up so fast and it worries me, but you've always had a good heart. I'm proud of you for wanting to do the right thing. Thanks, mom. I'll drive you wherever you need to go and I'll give you 20 minutes. But then you're grounded. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mom. You're the best. This is my dorm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, this is where he lives. Good luck, Nora. I'll wait for you right here. This is my chance to come clean to Dax. I need to see him in person. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Dax in person. I'll be right back. Knock, knock. Well, if it isn't the Eastdale arsonist. Huh? What's this? The Eastdale arsonist. Oh my God. What's going on, Nora? Tell me. You've been acting really weird lately. I, I mean, you never showed up for the ski trip today. I stayed back and waited for you. And then I'd see the headlines for this big fire. <sighs> okay. There's a lot I need to tell you. 
I was at the ceremony today for waitlisted freshmen when the fire happened. In fact, I was on stage giving a speech. What? Why? Because I'm in high school. What? I'm a senior at Eastdale High. I, I can't believe this. To be honest, it all started at the night of the ABC party. I only meant for it to be one night, but then I loved it here. I loved being with you. So you just never left? I never meant to hurt you. You have to believe that. I know you wouldn't try to hurt me, Nora. I mean, yeah, I literally lived my whole life here for you. But it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Please, your mom has hurt you more than I have. I know what I did was extreme. Dax, have you ever felt out of place? And suddenly you find yourself somewhere that feels like home? Yeah, after growing up with my mom, that happened to me here with you. It was wrong of me to pretend to be in college the night of the ABC party. It was even worse that I stayed after that. But I just couldn't leave. Leave. That feeling of home. I fell in love with this feeling here. I get that. I really do. Hearing you explain everything in person, I understand why you did what you did. Really? You mean that? I do. It means a lot that you came and talked to me in person. And I'm so glad you're safe from that fire. Thank you. That should have been your first concern. The fire and me and my safety. I love you, Nora. I really do. I don't want this to be the end for us. Me too. So yeah, we're on the same page. Okay. But right now, I need some time for myself to process everything. What? What? Okay, he's hugging me. He kissed my cheek and dipped. I'm all alone by my lonesome, grounded self. Did you talk to him? Yeah, and I'm glad I did. It was the right thing to do. I'm proud of you, Nora. You were caring and came clean to Dax in person. Yeah, we did. Home sweet home. I done the right thing with Dax. I knew it in my heart. But now it was back to reality. <sighs> now straight to your... I know. My room. Oh no, a note. I came to pick you up for the formal, but I'm guessing you were too busy to remember we were going. Simon. Simon, not you. The whole world is crashing around me. Oh yeah, that's from your friend. He thought he was taking you to the winter formal tonight. I mean, what could have given them that idea? Oh no, I'm a horrible person. I've ruined everything. Not everything. You still got us. Dax was hurt when I went and talked to him. Simon's mad at me for blowing off the dance i burned down a freaking building today guys i'm a crazy person you didn't burn it down like not technically it was basically my fault madison and joanna would have never been back there if it weren't for me at least you got to talk to dax in person right i'm sure that meant a lot to him i know it did he told me that but my whole world just feels upside down now okay Nora, don't lie your whole world has been feeling upside down since the time you started faking this whole charade you guys are the best besties Ever. I have another call coming in. Unknown? Who could that be? Hello? Nora, I'm calling from Eastdale University. We can't just take it lightly that you were pretending to be a student here. No, not you. We were excited to have you as part of our incoming class. But unfortunately, we have to resign your admission. I'm sorry. What? And with that, reality had officially set in. Oh, oh life sucks right now. Nora, you have some visitors. Dude, it's a straight cave in here. I feel like I'm like in a dark, depressing second dimension. Lainey, this is who I am now. I'm a mole. This is what I am now. Good to change things up, yeah? What's that smell? Oh, I haven't showered in four days. So obviously, you know, it's me. Oh, hell no! Not on my watch. It's time for action. Preston blinds. Oh my god, no, the light, it burns! Lady, fresh clothes for Nora. As always, I get to dress you. I'm like your fairy godmother. If you look in the top drawer of my dresser, you'll find all my PJs. And not pajamas. Come on, we're getting you outside. What? Why? It's not worth it. Besides, I'm grounded till I'm 30. Hmm, the strawberry milkshake is so good. Real berries, that's what it is. Totally, none of that concentrate trickery. Ugh. This is super fun, isn't it, Nora? We're out in the world, birds are shining, the sun is chirping. Wait, what? No, not even a snort? I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm being a downer, but I just want to be in my pit of stinkiness. Being here just reminds me of all the memories I have with Dax and Simon.
Yeah, Simon too. This is a diner that Simon took me to after Madison ruined my room. And I have never even met Madison if it weren't for Dax inviting me to that ABC party. So technically it's all Dax's fault for making me fall in love with him. Have you tried calling them? Multiple times. They don't answer. Dax doesn't want to talk right now. Even though I forgave him for everything he did and he's just acting like a brat right now. And Simon's heard that I forgot about the dance. And I understand Simon, okay? Honestly, I can't blame him. He's always been there for me and I've cheated him like an afterthought. Don't be so hard on yourself, Nora. You never meant to hurt anyone. But I did. I meant to hurt everyone. Now I just wish there was a way to prove to them that I'm not an awful person. Show them how much I care about them, how much I value our memories. Hmm. What? Well, you've been making that mood board all semester, right? It's full of memories that are special to Dax and Simon. And those times were real. That was the real you when you were with them. Maybe they just need reminding. Like a gesture? Like a gift. Who needs a gesture? Give them a gift. Wait, I could give them each a memento for my mood board. <gasps> Something that represents a special memory we shared together. Totally! Wow, that would be so meaningful, Nora. The times we had together are so personal. If I left them each a gift from my mood board, I know they'd accept my apology. Yes, because you're a psychic now, Nora. And it showed them how much I truly care. Which memento do you want to give Dax? I'm going to give him first picture together. I want to give Dax a Polaroid from the ABC party. We went into this photo booth together and took all these fun pictures. I think we both realized there was a spark between us that night. Oh, that sounds perfect! Dax will love that, Nora. And what about Simon? Don't forget Simon. The memento I want to give Simon is... I'm going to give him that dance ticket sticker thing. I want to give Simon the seahorse decoration from the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'll never forget the way he helped me turn the gym into an undersea theme. It was so nice of him. That's a perfect present for Simon. Totally! With these gifts, they'll know that I'm sincere. I want to show Dax and Simon how much they mean to me. Make things right with the boys. Yeah! Let's do this. Yeah! Whoa! You can do this, Nora! Step one, I need to wrap my gifts. What kind of wrapping paper do you want to use, Nora? I'm going to use a polka dot because, you know, we're fun. We're special. Gift for Dax. Gift for Simon. Wrap and wrap. It was all going to be perfect. I think I should include a note for each of them. That's a nice idea. Yeah, do that. What do you want to say to Dax? He fell for the real me. I'm not going to tell him I love him anymore. That's enough. All those times that we were together, that was real. That's so sincere, Nora. What about for Simon. I want Simon to know that his help meant so much to me. We're still friends owning Simon. Please! No! Simon helped me without wanting anything in return. And that is a solid person, a solid friend. I want him to know how much that meant to me, how much he means to me. That's perfect, Nora. Okay, writing a note. Step two was to leave my gifts for each of them. I'm gonna be a sneaky stalker and leave the gifts outside the door. First, we went to Simon's house and left his gift on the front porch. Let's hope nobody steals it. And I don't know how a little sticker can be in such a big box. I'm wasting paper. Then we went to Dax's room and left his gift at his doorstep. And we drove home. I knew I'd done the right thing. I felt good. Dax and Simon texted me. Oh my god, oh my god, what does it say? Oh wait, uh oh. What? What does it say? I would text you things about the gift, but I just can't. Oh, what about Simon? I just can't accept your gift like this, sorry. Yikes. The worst mistake of my life. I shouldn't have done anything. I should have just moved on in my cave. They hate me! Why wouldn't they? And why shouldn't they? I wouldn't be surprised if they never want to- What? Dude, turn around! Oh my god. What are you guys doing here? I couldn't believe you still had that picture of us from the photo booth. And I was reminded of the Sadie Hawkins dance all over again with the seahorse you gave me. But you both said you couldn't accept my gifts. Yeah, over text. Nora, use your noggin. Some messages need to be delivered in person with flowers. Simon, you're still as sweet as ever. You made things right with Dax and Simon. I can't believe it. You guys tricked me. I was so worried. Sorry. It was all part of the surprise. Surprise? Now, if we're gonna get you back into Eastdale U, we need backup. So we hope you don't mind. We brought a few people with us. Huh? Neither of us can imagine being at school next year without you. So we have an idea. Let's march to the administrator's office at Eastdale U and convince them to let you back in. Half of our dorm is here to fight for you. What? That's so nice. I didn't even know they knew about me. 
And most of Eastdale U too, even. Move it! <gasps> Joanna? You saved me from that fire, Nora? You deserve a spotted Eastdale U. And like you can see by my outfit, I'm like a totally changed person. I've wondered, why did you help me? Why did I help her? It was the right thing to do. I would have done that for anyone. Well, I'm here to do the right thing too. Let's get you back into Eastdale U. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! You, woo, woo, woo. Simon is cheering. My dad is just like, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get my girl back. Joanna is so happy. Thanks, Jojo. Are you ready, Nora? Because it's time to bring everything you've got, Tash. I am so ready. Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, I hope I get back into college. Oh my god, that chapter was insane. I hope it was worth the wait for you guys. I'm so sorry it took me a while. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there was a little accident with college when I was recording it previously. It kind of erased all my progress, so I had to start over. And yeah, that's why it took me a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter oh my god everyone knows the truth nobody hates me hopefully my mom forgives me hopefully i get back into school hopefully i'm besties with simon and hopefully me and dad have a happily ever after i think there's only a couple chapters left i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i love you guys thank you for being patient make sure you guys leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys later bye